turning now to another KETV News Watch 7 exclusive. What to do with the Metro's learning community? You've heard that how some want to get rid of it. Some suggest now getting more money from the state. But only on 7, Governor Dave Heineman says that is not the answer. 2007, that was then. The overriding factor for me was to find a way to put the focus back on our students. 2014, this is now. It really hasn't worked. Governor Dave Heineman points to reports the learning community has failed to deliver on its ideals of closing achievement and diversity gaps, saying it's only added another layer of bureaucracy. So part of the discussion next year needs to be about uh, eliminating or improving the learning community. Part of the discussion now is whether the extra common levy paid by the 11 metro districts should also be eliminated. Dramatic but last week, Senator Heath Mello said doing that would be very expensive. Uh, anywhere between 50 to 100 million dollars more in state aid education to cover the loss of property taxes from the common levies. Consider this, though: the latest financial reports show Nebraska taking in an extra 61 and a half million dollars more than expected this fiscal year. And we still have that record reserve. But we're going to have a cash reserve in excess of 700 million dollars the day I leave. We could survive on about $500 million. Some people might say, well, if you've got all this money, why not siphon off a little bit more to the state aid? Well, first thing you got to look at, uh, and there's really no evidence, more money equals better academic results. No. Heineman says better academic results come from other places, like simplifying the state aid to education formula. If Omaha uh, and Sarpy County get more state aid, does that mean the rest of the state's going to get less? And reallocating resources. And particularly right now, the learning community is spending a lot of money on transporting kids uh, from one school district to another. Let's slow that down, minimize that, and put that money into the classroom. Heineman says another crucial component in closing the achievement gap is getting more parents more involved in their children's education. You can read much more about this online at KETV.com.